Reports from independent media outlets inside Rapids and Burgundy Wave is that Colorado Rapids players are not pleased with the poor training facilities available at Dick's Sporting Goods Park in Commerce City. On Tuesday, Inside Rapids tweeted, the league is heavily encouraging or perhaps even mandating improvements to Rapids training facilities at DSGP. Players have filed grievances with the MLS Players Association pertaining to the lack of and rundown facilities forcing the league has stepped in. The involvement of Major League Soccer is in line with a statement the league made this winter in their plans to help legacy clubs that have fallen behind expansion clubs in team performance and overall brand. The Rapids is a flagship MLS club that started play in 1996 along with LA Galaxy, DC United, New England Revolution, and others. Burgundy Wave, a blog site that was among other MLS media that lost funding from SB Nation this year, still remains a major insider for the club. They reached out to Cronky Sports and Entertainment and received response from them, which stated, We are in the midst of a series of renovations to our team's facilities at Dick's Sporting Goods Park. We have replaced both the main stadium field and the first team training field in 2022, as well as undertaking the expansion of our supporter section and the development of our new match day experience, North Boundary. Further upgrades and renovations to the facility will be carried out into 2024, and we have engaged external consultants to undertake a feasibility study with the aim of determining the best approach to meet our training and performance needs. We will continue to have ongoing dialogue with the league office regarding our facility renovations, plan improvements, and feasibility study. The feasibility study centers on an idea of turning the area surrounding Dick's Sporting Goods Park into a residential, commercial, and entertainment destination with a rumored new NBA arena for the Denver Nuggets, the area to be called Victory Crossing. However, Commerce City officials remain pessimistic about the study. In May, Councilor Craig Kim stated, it feels like a repeat of what we've heard before. Hey, we're going to build out this beautiful area. We're going to build it out a commercial tourism area. We're going to do all these wonderful things. And here we are five years later, and there's nothing. Absolutely zilch. Zero. In May, Commerce City Sentinel Express stated that the Crocky family desires to acquire 88.2 acres of land surrounding Dick's that's owned by the city. If such happens, the family-owned company Cronky Sports and Entertainment pledges to build Victory Crossing. Commerce City, highly aware of Stan Cronky's history in St. Louis, is not buying such talk from KSE. Councilor Suzanne Noble stated, We have been presented with the most complicated and most disadvantageous suggestion possible. For that reason, I will not be able to accept this. Councillor Sean Fords added, I hear and I heard 20 years ago, plans, and I see nice pictures. But I still to this day have not heard when we might see something. It went from sports medicine facilities and nice restaurants and things over the years at different times. But we haven't seen things for a number of years, and I think it made some people mad. In summary, the Crocky family does not only have a poor relationship with Major League Soccer, they also have a trust issue with local politicians, which gives clarity onto why the Colorado Rapids took a sudden nosedive from being best in the West in 2021 to now one of the worst clubs in MLS. Such status angers Rapids supporters as they see other Stan Kroenke-owned franchises, such as the LA Rams, Arsenal, a Premier League, Denver Nuggets, and even the Colorado Mammoth of Major League Lacrosse sit at the top of their respective leagues. International Miami Football Club entered the world of football at a time where many clubs were uncertain about their existence in 2020. The fear was a result of a pandemic that most people never witnessed before until that time. The franchise was created more so as a gift to David Beckham from Major League Soccer in gratitude for the football legend bringing his talents to the United States. His leadership in South Beach started off tough, full of controversy, as he received sanctions from the league for miscategorization and not properly reporting players' salaries in 2020. One of those players was Julian Carranza, who's now a key player 
in Philadelphia Union's current championship window. The punishment resulted in a fine of $2 million with additional reduction of nearly $2.3 million in allocation dollars, which, in down-to-earth terms, is extra pocket cash for MLS clubs. The sanctions made it hard for the club to quickly turn into contenders like other expansion clubs such as Austin, Cincinnati, Nashville, and St. Louis. However, they were able to make the MLS Cup playoffs once under head coach Phil Neville in 2022. They also had an Argentine star in Gonzalo Higuain that helped the team that season. Despite such, a habit of consistently losing matches and underperforming against clubs that fans expected the team to outperform led to the firing of Neville on Thursday as the club prepares for the highly anticipated arrival of global football icon Lionel Messi. A signing that once started off as a desire, then turned into rumor, and now a high possibility through a partnership with La Liga club Barcelona, the place where Messi became a star throughout his career. The challenge, however, comes from the Saudi Pro League, a football league that offers players money that no other league can match. This is why MLS and La Liga have formed a new partnership to attain Messi, which may be the start of a long-lasting relationship between both leagues. The unofficial plan will be for Messi to spend time in Major League Soccer during the League's Cup in July, which is a joint tournament with Liga Mexico. Then, in August, Miami will loan Messi to Barcelona with the option to buy, enabling the legend to end his career where he's appreciated the most. In the meantime, both leagues have to find a way to outbid Saudi Arabia's two-year $1 billion contract offer through incentives. Messi is expected to make a decision in early June.